Hi, Dave here, and today I'm going to give you a tour of this Sears 6339A model telescope. It's a 76 millimeter telescope dating from the 1960s or so, maybe early 70s. And it is a charming telescope. It has wonderful features. Uh, I'm a big fan of some of the interesting little idiosyncratic kinds of things found on these vintage telescopes. This one has sort of a lot of bells and whistles. It's got a lot of good things going for it. One of the things that uh, makes it a telescope collector happy is to have all sorts of little goodies that go with it and to have them all in there in the box. I've got the original box with the original styrofoam packing. That's very, very important. The finder is on finder rings, so it, this makes it very nice. You can move the finder around to different sides of the telescope depending on upon where you are in the sky. So that's a nice feature. Okay, let's take a close-up look at some of the interesting attributes of this little telescope. This is the very charming and unique tray. Um, the tray itself isn't unique, it's what it's got on it and in it. There are color-coordinated eyepieces, and I'll show you close-ups of all of those, uh, which is unique. And then there's this wonderful tray light. Very, very charming. This, of course, is the Barlow. Um, and this is a, a very unique little feature. You can move it around. It's got a little gooseneck kind of a thing. What is really wonderful about this scope, and one of the things I, as a collector, really like, is the set of eyepieces. They're color-coordinated, and you could tell if you can see the color, which you can because you're going to have a light here in a moment. Anyway, uh, you can tell which kind of eyepiece you're using. You can tell which magnification you have. One of the other very nice things about this telescope is this device here. This is a tray light. Not many telescopes had these, and they're charming, quite charming. Uh, here it is. I'm going to turn it on. You can see that it's actually working. It's really just a flashlight, just got a couple of batteries in there and uh, a bulb. I painted the bulb red, but that's no big deal. This mounts right onto the tray and is wonderful. Very, very, very charming. Here's another thing that adds a good deal of... Um, it's actually very useful. It's not only utilitarian, it's quite charming and, and rather unique. Uh, this is one of the few telescopes that came supplied with mounting rings for the finder. This is the box for the 6339A. It's got all of the appropriate styrofoam packing material. Uh, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Sears 6339A with a Unitron 3-inch. Uh, comparable telescopes, comparable performance actually. Uh, the differences would be in the slight cosmetic differences and perhaps in the function of the mounts. I think that the Unitron is, in, in all respects, probably superior, but not by that much. So the Sears 6339A has uh, probably slightly better remote controls in terms of the right ascension and declination. The finder is a little bit bigger at least on the stock model Unitron, it comes with a, a smaller finder. So this is, I think, an 8x30 finder, something like that. Little uh, 8x30 finder. Fine, works just fine for you. It does the job just, just great. But it's not as big as the Sears. The Sears has a bigger, uh, more luxurious kind of a finder. I think that the mount on the Unitron is, is probably far superior to the Sears, probably considerably better. Certainly the build quality on the mount, this is this is high, this is top notch here. The Sears is very, very good. Not quite up to the standards. Look at the setting circles. Uh, I'll take the camera off the tripod and we can compare the setting circles just as an example. The Unitron setting circles are just beautiful. Okay, so here we are looking at, at these two mounts more closely. I think you can see that the Setting circles on the Unitron are far superior. These are, they're, they're not bad, they're not, not bad, but nowhere near the quality of the Unitron. Here's a close-up of the Unitron setting circles. Really, really, really nice. 
much nicer than on the Sears. These are not bad on the Sears, but uh, they're nowhere near as good as the Unitron. And the altitude adjusting, adjustment device on the Sears, very good, not bad, not bad at all. Much better than what you would find on a lot of telescopes. The screw here pushes up on the mount and so forth. Very, very nice. Let's compare that now with the Unitron. Here on the Unitron you'll see a much more robust kind of a device. This is really, really nice. Very effective. It's not going anywhere. The thing is, is very, very stable. Very robust. Look at the size of this gear on the Unitron. Very nice, big, I don't know what it is, maybe three, three and a half inches. Let's compare that. Buried inside that housing there is the gear on the Sears. It's obviously considerably smaller than on the Unitron. It's not bad. I don't think it's, there's anything terribly bad about it, but it's just not as robust as what you find on the Unitron. I hope you've enjoyed my tour of this Sears Model 6339A. Thank you.